A drive to the Himalayas is something you just can't pass up. So when Skoda asked for a volunteer for the Kodiak expedition drive, I didn't hesitate one bit. We are in Chandigarh for the Kodiak expedition drive. And over the next six days, this is going to be my new best friend as we travel from here in Chandigarh to the very touristy Manali, on to Chandratal, which is home to the beautiful Moon Lake, and then of course, the Valley of Spiti. Well, I have an SUV, it is all-wheel drive, it is comfortable, I can't wait to get started. Chandigarh is a well-planned city with wide and well-maintained roads, so the Kodiak was relaxed and in its element. However, once we exited the city limits, we started the climb towards Manali. Here, the ghats look treacherous on their own, but to add to the challenge, it started pouring. And if that wasn't enough, there was a massive dust storm too. With almost no visibility, it slowed us down a lot. But adventure is a part of every road trip, and that's what makes it fun. We managed to clear the storm and made up time as it cleared. But having lost a lot of time, we got to Manali late in the night. So we have finally reached Manali, which is our first night halt of the drive. And it has taken us a good 10 hours to get here. Now, in that, we've had to tackle dust storms, heavy rain showers, and properly, properly broken roads. This champ, however, has taken it all on the chin and kept asking for more. Day two of the Kodiak expedition started off early in the morning. The drive to Chandratal was a mere 150 kilometers, but on the mountain roads with two-way traffic and some really narrow sections, 150 kilometers can pretty much take the whole day. We wound our way up to Rotang Pass and then the roads just disappeared. We were now literally rock crawling and there was no tarmac in sight. The Kodiak was proving its off-road credentials to us pretty well and before this drive I honestly didn't imagine it would deal with this kind of rough road as well as it did. We hit the beautiful and legendary Chandratal with daylight to spare and took in the gorgeous view. We are in Chandratal and this beautiful azure water body you are seeing behind me is the Chandratal Lake also known as the Moon Lake. The locals here consider it as a holy lake which is why you don't see any swimming or fishing activity behind me. It is open only four months of the year which is the reason why we are here today and it is absolutely beautiful. We are here to just soak in the whole ambience and head on to our next destination in Kaza. Chandratal to Kaza is just under 100 kilometers. And yes, once again the terrain made the small distance seem longer. But to my relief, we hit tarmac roads pretty early in the day, making it a lot easier. The Skoda, however, wasn't phased at all. This part of the country makes you want to stop and take pictures all the time. And to culminate the day, we entered the gorgeous valley of Spiti. Picturesque landscapes and jaw-dropping visuals ensure you are never tired on this journey. We woke up next morning in the beautiful village of Kaza, which is located in the heart of Spiti. There is plenty to see here, including heritage sites like Comic, the world's highest inhabited village, Hikim, which is the world's highest post office, and of course, plenty of ancient monasteries with epic views. Driving in Spiti is nothing like the driving we've been doing for the past two days. The roads are tarmac, which means you can truly enjoy the stunning backdrop this beautiful valley has to offer. It also means that after a long two-day drive, the Kodiak is finally in its comfort zone. Leaving behind a place like Spiti is difficult to say the least. However, it was time to continue our journey. And this time round, the route we took tested the Kodiak's abilities to handle the corners. Twisty smooth roads were good enough to knock the sport mode on and use the paddles to really enjoy the winding roads. The landscape in this part of the country is stunning around every corner and that makes the drive even more enjoyable. We are on our way back to Chandigarh as the Kodiak expedition has finally come to an end. It's been a busy drive for most part. So for this last leg, I wanted to hop in the bag and truly enjoy the Kodiak's party piece, its back seat. Now the road to Chandigarh is mostly highways and that is Kodiak territory. This thing is just gliding over everything. 
Also, what I have in the back is this lovely panoramic sunroof, sun blinds to cocoon me from that outside world, and a beautiful Canton audio system as well. So I think it's time to take a nice long nap before I finally get back to the grind. Looking back on the last six days, I realized that the Kodiak is just as diverse as the places it's been through. It took on treacherous terrains, navigated through mountain passes, and conquered the highways as well. I was left impressed and was glad that my first visit to the breathtaking Spiti Valley was just as good as I thought it would be.